Retain gang, what's poppin', man? This your boy Tay, back at y'all again. Yo, I appreciate y'all for clicking on this video. Make sure y'all follow all my socials. Like, hit that bell, man. Show your boy some love. I greatly appreciate y'all. So today, man, we're gonna talk about the hair. Um, three spiritual truths that I've realized about my locks since I've had them. And I've been growing my hair out for a minute, man. I'm 33. I've been growing my hair since I was 18. So for the past 15 years, this is the only hairstyle that I've had. Okay. And there's been a lot of things that I realized on my lock journey. A lot of self-awareness that I've gained and also just being aware of the effects this hairstyle had on me. Okay. And one thing I realized about having locks is you actually absorb energy. Okay. This is why you become more intuitive. This is why you start to get wisdom out of nowhere is because you're able to absorb energy and frequencies with your hair okay you also become more attractive because you're like a magnet so people gravitate towards you and i know there's some experience man just being out if i'm out and about or if i'm around a crowd of people i i notice people start to stare at me or they come around me and want to start conversations and that's because the hair is magnetic Okay, people can feel that pull. It's like a magnet pulling them towards you. All right, see, the hair absorbs energy. This is why you're able to be empathetic of others because you're feeling all their emotions, all their feelings. When you're around a crowd of people, you can feel everybody's feelings and emotions. That's because you're absorbing energy. This is why you get a lot of women who are in toxic relationships after the relationship ends, they might cut their hair down really, really short because they want to detach from all that energy from their relationship, right? All those memories. Your hair holds memories. It holds energy. It absorbs everything. So a lot of women tend to cut their hair to release, release that energy and start new. So your hair, your locks absorbs energy. So just know that when you get around people, they're going to gravitate towards you, especially if you got good energy and you vibrating high you definitely want to attract people. People want to be your friend. They want to start conversations with you. They just want to be around your good energy. The second thing I realized about locks is that it helps you to retain your energy, right? You retain a lot of energy when you have locks, okay? Understand that you lose a lot of heat from your feet, your hands, and your head. That's why grandma always told you wear socks, wear some gloves, and wear a hat to keep the energy in, to keep you warm. But from a spiritual aspect, you're not just losing heat, you're losing energy because heat is energy. So when you have locks, they actually lock in your energy, okay? If you go outside and you go out barefoot and ground, go to the grass or the dirt, the energy shoots up from the earth through your feet up into your head, your crown. But since you have locks, now that energy gets recycled. It doesn't leave because your hair is gonna absorb that energy and keep it rotating. You feel what I'm saying? This is gonna keep you more youthful. It's gonna keep your vital essence inside. This is why you see a lot of Rastas who have long dreads going all the way down to their feet and they still look young. They still got a head full of hair because they retain all their energy through the locks. Okay, you don't lose a lot of vital essence. And I'm not throwing shade at the bald head, man. You know, if you got a bald head, this is why you keep it covered. A lot of guys that's bald, you see them wear a lot of caps or beanies or things like that. And it's not to hide their hairline or their head. They don't consciously know that what they're doing is actually keeping their energy in and protecting their dome because you have a treasure up here, right? Your mind, you wanna keep your mind protected, right? So if you don't have the hair, you keep the cap or, and you grow the beard out. The beard also acts as antennas to absorb energy and keep your vital essence inside of you. It's very important that you retain all your energy. You don't want any of it leaking out because you're losing a part of yourself. You're draining yourself, right? It's just like if you got a soda pop, you open the cap and you let it sit open, the carbonation is gonna leave, it's gonna lose its power, okay? But when you put the cap on, 
it retains all that carbonation, all that power, all that flavor. Same thing with your hair. Your hair acts as the cap to keep all of your energy, all of your power with inside of you. So just know these locks act not only as a protector, but as a seal to keep your energy intact. All right. The third thing I realized about my locks, man, is that this is an actual living entity. Okay. It's not dead like they told us it was. Your hair is actually a living entity. It's alive. If someone takes a strand of your hair, they can see everything that you put in your system for the past seven years. If somebody takes a strand of your hair, they have access to your DNA, your, your, your ancestral memories. They have access to your genetic coding, right? That's your treasure, that's your jewels, that's your information. So when you understand these things, you realize this is not just something that's growing out of your scalp. This is a part of you. This is an extension of you. This is an extension of your nervous system, right? It gives you information. This protects you from danger, from harm. There's been times I walk across the street with my headphones on and there might be a car coming and something inside me tells me to look, look this way, right? There's a car coming. I can't hear it, but the hair, Right, It can pick up on signals, it can pick up on frequencies, and it can alert you when danger's around. Sort of like a spidey sense. All right, so understand you gotta take care of this, right? Take care of your hair, take care of this. It's a living thing. You know, back in school, they told us hair is dead. It's dead cells. But if that was the case, how come when people get very, very sick, their hair falls out? If your hair is dead, like they say, if you get very, very sick, it should grow even more, right? Since you got more dead cells coming out your scalp. It's not dead, it's alive. When I go outside into that sun, my hair stands up, okay? If it was, if it was dead, it wouldn't do that. This is a living entity. So make sure you treat it as such. Take care of it, show it love. When I go moisturize my hair with some rose water and then I put some essential oils in it like tea tree or castor oil, I can feel the vibrance in my hair. I can feel the energy change. It even looks more vibrant. You know what I'm saying? And that right there lets me know that this is a living organism. Anybody with a green thumb knows that when you grow plants or flowers, you speak love into it and it helps them to grow. You water them, you take care of them, right? Your hair, the same thing. You got to speak love into it. Speak to your locks, speak to your hair right take care of it moisturize it feed it essential oils it's good to massage your hair too you know show it love because remember your hands are healing your hands actually give off energy as well so if you got the right intention inside of you you know and you put that energy in your hands into your hair you can actually help your hair grow too if you got a wife or a girlfriend let her plan your hair you know y'all got love for each other there ain't nothing like a woman's touch a woman playing in your hair, bro, is going to help it grow that much faster. Or if you got a lady, you know what I'm saying, playing her hair. Y'all playing each other's hair. That's how you send love to each other, and it's going to help your hair grow. Some people might say that your hair is just, it's just hair. It doesn't mean anything. Why would the universe give you something that doesn't have no value to you, that it means nothing? Your hair wouldn't grow if it didn't have a purpose. Your fingernails wouldn't grow if it didn't have a purpose. Everything on you is living right from the head to toe dead things don't grow so if your fingernails were dead if your hair was dead they wouldn't grow they would decompose and that's facts so just understand that your hair is a living entity show it love be good to it you know what i'm saying take care of it and it's going to do the same for you man you're going to see it in the presence in its appearance it's going to show that you've been taking care of yourself Understand your word is powerful. So the way that you speak to yourself, it's going to transform you. All right. You are the consciousness of this universe or this temple. OK, so you have to speak life into it. Every aspect of it. Realize the power in your word, the power that you have. OK, this is your vessel. This is your hair. Show it love. Take care of it. Get in tune with yourself. All right. Retain gang, it's your boy Tay. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. 
Let me know in the comment section what y'all thought about this video or what y'all would like me to talk about next. Y'all have a beautiful day, man. And I'm out. Peace.